Welcome to day 24 of 30 days of nursery rhymes challenge. My name is Kate and I am trying to promote using ukuleles in the classroom and I'm playing color baritone ukulele. I also encourage people to use more nursery rhymes in their classrooms, especially if you are talking about youngest children. So I'm talking about early childhood education and care, which is zero to five, but can definitely be used in after school care and before school care and family day care and any vacation care. Parents also can play ukuleles and sing to children because it does develop them across all five domains, including language, including um, um, language and communication, cognitive or thinking development, physical development because we develop fine motor skills and gross movements as well, and we develop social skills and emotional skills. Can you guess what song is planned for today? Have you ever seen the bird like this? If you are not from Australia, this is a kookaburra. <laughs> It's not just a kookaburra, it's a type of kingfisher, so it's, that's why it's got really big, large and sturdy beak, so it can actually crack open uh, its prey. Yes, so, and it does go up to fish, it can catch the lizards, and in Australian uh, picnic areas it does go for sausages, so it's pretty uh, nifty like that. Very beautiful, unusual bird with this really big head and the way it laughs is very, very Australian and very, very iconic. Okay, so today we're going to sing about kookaburra that sing, sits on the old gum tree. So gum tree in Australia is something that we... Um, oh, here, maybe she can sit next to the wombat like this. <laughs> so um, gum tree is what we call eucalyptus tree so we have a lot of varieties of different gum trees and obviously she likes to sit on gum tree and you can spot kookaburra pretty much on almost every bush walk here they do come also and dwell in the neighborhoods um, uh, and you can see them in suburban areas all right so the song i'm gonna use uh, the um, country stroke oh, switch the camera for you uh, so you can see both me and my ukulele. I don't know if it works for this one. Probably not. Like this. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So this is the um, one of the times of strums, but I'm going to use the country strum. So you use thumb, then down, up, up, down, up, pick. Down, up, thumb, down, up. Kookaburra sits on the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Love, kookaburra, love, kookaburra. So 
that's a kookaburra song. Kookaburra sits on the old gum tree. I know that this song is known around the world as well, so not just in Australia. Let's learn some chords. So the first chord we need is C. Oops, sorry. That's C chord. And you can play um, my, using my strum. Or you can play down, up, down, up, down, up, yeah. Yeah, that's a simple one, down, up, down. Kookaburra sits F on the C old gum tree. C, Mary, Mary. You can do G7 next. That's our G7. King of the, back to C, push is and then F, love, kookaburra, C, love, kookaburra, and then G7, marry your life, must back to C, B, and again, C, I'm just gonna say chords, C, few chords so that's C G7 and C so that's a pretty cool way to finish the song and now I use different strumming patterns so if you uh, look at my hands they go down down up up down 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 up up down 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 up up down let's try this pattern as well for this song okay to play and sing at the same time which you will find as well um, I don't really think about patterns uh, or strumming when I play and I'm in tune with the song but yeah sometimes this is the skill that takes a lot of time and as I was saying I'm a learner myself so I'm not a professional ukulele player I am a uh, piano a teacher not a teacher teacher with piano background I'd say who learned to play ukulele so yeah, the strumming would be probably difficult at first, especially if I'm strumming like this. I think you also can focus a little bit more on changing chords and for all the more in-depth um, uh, learning uh, of ukulele, I can recommend at least two people. Number one is uh, All For Ukes, yes, All For Ukes. That's amazing channel where Kevin from United States is teaching how to play ukulele, including baritone. And the second one that I like is quite clear as well is Bernadette teaches music. So these two of my favorite channels that I learn a lot from and especially from Kevin, uh, all for ukes, I learned how to strum poorly. <laughs> I mean, he did uh, teach me well, I just didn't learn so well I guess so it's a really great channel um, so uh, another um, extension so today not many extensions because we already talked about puppets so you obviously can um, offer children a puppet uh, to play with freely and reenact the story for example um, one would be a, a child would be a kookaburra the other one would be talking to kookaburra um, yeah, and that's a little bit of acting out. Or you can give them kookaburra for free play and they can fly around and pretend that they're kookaburras. Uh, I noticed yesterday during story time with children that when I brought puppets of the owl, the interest level gone up to the point of super excitement and we actually lost it as well. I lost uh, the 
ability to control the group. It was pretty rowdy group though and full of beans and we just came from outside. So this happens a lot. But I thought that the uh, interesting story will engage them, which it was, but they still were full of beans. And I think I needed to spend a little bit more time on shaking those tillies out, as we call it, uh, and um, soothing uh, the group before we would start acting out and dramatizing. I also was a relief teacher, so this happens a lot when they don't really know you. However, they really love the owl puppets and they wanted to hold them and I think they wanted to play with them. So uh, offering children puppets for play, obviously asking them to be gentle and dedicating special sport for the puppets so they don't run around. Or if they do, they need to bring them back. Um, so yeah, setting up rules is very important. But yeah, this would be a really great extension. Look at this puppet. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, kookaburra. The other thing you can do, and that's something that I talked about before when I talked about ducks, five uh, little ducks, is to uh, show children what kookaburra looks like, what baby kookaburras look like, uh, how they teach um, them to find prey and how um, like they grow from eggs, so life cycle of kookaburra. You also can show the kingfisher and compare kookaburra and uh, kingfisher uh, uh, because kingfisher is a bird that you can find everywhere. Let's say, for example, tropical islands might have some tropical types of kingfisher, which is very interesting to compare as well. Uh, setting up simple puzzle, using a picture of kookaburra, cutting it in different parts, and then making children c connect them. Yeah, so it's a great extension activity as well. And finally, you can also go sporting kookaburras outside, making binoculars, yes, yeah, so like bird watching binoculars from resource uh, resources uh, that are recyclable. For example, paper, towel, um, um, car, uh, like those tubes, yeah, that you can uh, make uh, binoculars with. Finally, uh, that's uh, a sign language, Australian birds. For example, um, if I'm showing it right, I might not. So this is a cockatoo. Um, this is emu. Yes, yeah, so kookaburra would be, um, let me remember if I remember correctly. So something like that. Yeah, because she laughs. Yeah, and owls, you can also guess like, like this. Yeah, so this is an owl. And can you guess what uh, the sign for the swan would be? It's pretty interesting, huh? So like this. <laughs> That's a swan. So yeah, learn some sign language uh, signs and introduce them to children as well as extension of this activity. So this is kookaburra sits on the old gum tree. Definitely can extend it more, but I think we need to kind of uh, limit the extensions as well. Otherwise it would be too much. Inquiry on kookaburras would be something that I will do with a group of children who are older then three years old, uh, but for babies you can also set up simple sporting activity, as I said. In one kindergarten here where I live, uh, Mount Eliza um, Center, I think it's called, they have a very beautiful um, tree and children watch uh, the birds there and it's beautiful um, to watch the real birds and spot them, but they also have pictures of those birds and uh, babies can point at the symbol of the bird or picture and then the real bird which connects them um, really well to nature and helps with cognitive development. So I hope you enjoyed uh, today's session. It was day 24. Remember to follow uh, me for more wonderful uh, new serial rhymes. We still have few to go and for anyone who is watching there will be surprise um, at the end of this challenge. Keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> Bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow.